Welcome back friends our book summary channel Booksica. To end suffering and attain internal peace. To live fully in the present and separate yourself from your mind. Provides a special method. This book also teaches you to separate yourself from your ego. Which is a part of your mind. Who wants control over your thinking and behavior. It argues that by doing this you can learn to accept the present. You can reduce the pain of your experience. You can improve your relationship. And can enjoy a better life in general. Eckhart Tolle is a spiritual teacher and author. Who gives advice to people? Eckhart Tolle is called the father of modern meditation. We keep spending our time stuck in the regretful past, or worrying about the uncontrollable future. The core of Tolley's practical philosophy is to live in the present moment. So that, we can avoid those maximum pains. Which we usually experience. Friends, for a moment, we are regretting or regretting. The very next moment, we are making plans, or worrying. Meanwhile, we neglect such a moment. What is completely available to us is the present moment. Right now only the present is important because Nothing happens in past or future. Things happen in a continuous stream of present moments. One dot live in the present. Which we call past. It is actually a collection of present moments that have happened. Similarly, future is also a collection of present moments, which have not happened yet. This suggests that worrying about past and future is not beneficial. The benefit is to live in the present. If you learn to live in now. So you do not experience big problems. The problem that arises appears small. Which you can solve easily. So friends, stop clinging to the past and stop fearing the future. You will see how your life changes dramatically. 2. Dot pain which does not allow us to live in the present. Despite living in the present, we still have to face pain. During this time to deal with physical and emotional suffering. We have to understand this pain well. Pain, for those external things. There is nothing more than a self-created inner resistance that you cannot change. When you are unsatisfied with things. Still don't feel powerful enough to change them. So you experience pain. Pain, on an emotional level, represents itself as a negative feeling. You think a lot about past and future. But we can only live in the present. Because of this, you cannot change many things due to which you are unhappy. And it develops an inner resistance to things inside you. Which you experience like a pain. When someone upsets or frustrates you, and you feel angry. So your pain body takes control over you. Anger covers your ability to think. And after getting angry, it leads us towards pain. We think that anger comes from outside, but no friends, it comes from within. This suggests that it is self-created, and we can control it. Mind is responsible for pain. This is done by continuously making memories of the past, or planning for the future. Regretful memories of your entire life. And fills it with worrying future scenarios. In doing so, it prevents you from remaining in the present. The result is this. That's because you cannot change your past or future. So you're constantly worried about those things. Which you cannot possibly change. And this causes pain. 3. Ego Ego is a part of our enjoyment, which prevents us from being happy. Have you ever wondered why some people harm themselves? However, no one wants to be unhappy, so why are so many people unhappy? The reason for this is ego, a part of your mind, which exists without you noticing. Controls your thoughts and behavior. Ego cannot be absorbed easily. Most people do not know how ego controls their life. Ego takes you into conflict situations with others. And makes you unhappy with your current state, so that it can control your behavior and thinking. For example when two egos come together. So drama is created. 
people want to live peacefully in homes and offices. But their egos force them to react to the issue on small shortcomings. Ego is a destructive part of our mind. And it wants to become the most prominent part of the mind. This knows no limits, friends. Therefore, when you let the ego take control of you, it causes us sadness later. 4. Method to separate EGO from oneself. As darkness cannot live near light. Similarly, for a person controlled by ego for a very long time. It is difficult to live with a person living in the present moment. Strong opposites cannot exist in close proximity. If you place a candle in darkness, darkness disappears. If you pour water on fire, the fire goes out. Friends, if you want a richer and almost painless life. So separate yourself from your mind and focus on your body. Power of ego is one of those many reasons. Which helps you to separate yourself from your mind. And it is important to give more focus to your body. In fact, great teachers have talked about the importance of focusing on the body instead of the mind. Our body knows what is important for us. By listening to your body you can create a clear image of it. What is important in your life? When we realize that our mind is making us feel pain. Because of which we are not able to live in the present. So we have to separate it from ourselves. While concentrating on the mind and ignoring the body. No one has ever attained enlightenment. A different example can be seen in Buddha's six years of meditation, including fasting in which he had isolated his body by giving orders to himself. Result? They actually felt separate from their body, but not from peace or enlightened. He attained enlightenment only after abandoning these practices and once he felt with his body. To separate yourself from your mind. You know about it and the impact it has on you. One should be completely conscious about that also. Otherwise, you can use those countless small and subtle ways anytime. You, you will not be able to understand those who influence your thinking and behavior. And hence they also affect your happiness. To observe the mind, ask yourself consciously. What will be your next thought? When you focus completely on this question. So you will see that it takes some time for the next clear thought to come. Through this observation you can create a gap in the flow of your thinking which will benefit you immensely. This observation helps in breaking the chain of irregular thoughts running in our mind. With this we can easily separate our mind from our body. 5. Active waiting state Friends, when we learn to separate ourselves from the mind. So you can adopt another technique. Active waiting state is that state. When we are thinking the same thing we are doing. While giving our exams, we should not think about the result and just concentrate on the exam. Thinking about results means wasting time. In this state you pay attention to your body. And to remain in the present, it is very important to pay attention to the body. Listen to those little voices that are roaming in your mind. Like, you should work now and not waste time. But don't see that voice as good or bad. And do not try to follow the advice. Just smile at it and accept that this thought also exists. By doing this, you will learn not to follow your mind even after noticing it. 6. Unavoidable pain Eckhart Tolle further explains about a very interesting topic. Even if you live completely in the present. But still we cannot ignore some feelings of sadness and pain. Friends, it is true that most of the pain is self-created. But this does not mean that we are the ones who have created it. This is a good example of unavoidable pain. Those people who trouble us with their destructive mind. In such a situation when we experience something painful. So accept it exactly as it is. Friends, being sad is a natural feeling. You don't need to feel guilty about it, things are as they are. That is, you should not waste your time thinking that I wish it had not happened like that, I wish it had happened like this. By staying in the present you can avoid most of the pain. But not with all the pain. 
living in the present does not mean ignoring pain. Instead, it will make your life difficult and difficult. Provides inner strength to accept painful facts. Staying in the present gives you access to new sources and information. It can also provide new ways to solve problems. It's certainly true that by living in you right now can bring a new kind of strength and determination. Because you do not waste your inner resources in creating problems. In fact, by living in the present you actually do not see any problem. Just look at individual, manageable situations. Which you can solve one by one. This makes you more effective. You must have learned from this book that. How can I make my life better? Friends, do not focus on past and future, stay in the present and try to separate yourself from the overthinking mind. If this book summary like you valuable, please hit like button and subscribe our channel, Booksica. Thank you for listening. Keep learning, keep growing.